Hey guys, welcome back to Nurse Jenks. In this video, we're gonna be talking about whether or not a full moon really impacts healthcare, nursing, medicine, all that good stuff. I wanted to start off with this meme here, which is night shift nursing staff be like, it was a full moon last night. <laughs> and it's got the picture of Jack Nicholson looking like a crazy person. He's been through one heck of a night. So the statement is on nights where there is a full moon, everything goes crazy in the hospital. Basically the patients are crazier, there's more admissions, there's more births, all sorts of issues going on in the hospital. It's just a hectic night. And so I wanted to take a look at some of the studies out there that have actually tried to analyze this to try to see whether or not there's any proof behind any of these claims and where to go from here. So the first study that I found tried to see what influence the full moon had on agitation in nursing home residents. Now they only had 24 people in this study, but they did come to the conclusion that there was really no observed differences during the full moon. Basically they, they said, no, there's nothing here. So this study looked at the full moon and its effects on admissions to the emergency room. So there were over 54,000 people who were in this study and they still came to the conclusion that there was really no difference in the amount of admissions during a full moon versus not on a full moon. They also looked at a couple of other things, for example, attempted suicide. They said this was not observed on full moon days either. There was no big changes in GCS scores on patients during full moon. So basically they came to the conclusion that there was no significant differences on full moons versus not full moons. Then I came across this article, which goes over a lot of different studies, and we were looking at the effect of heart attacks and cardiac arrest on the full moon. They said, nope, that was not true. The occurrence of CPR was not more common during a full moon interval. We have the effects of intracranial aneurysm rupture uh, during the full moon. They came to the conclusion that there was no difference in the rupture rate. Then we have kidney stones being more common during a full moon. They came to the conclusion that there was no association between the increase in kidney stone incidence with full moons. Then we looked at psychiatric emergencies being more common during a full moon. So this is one you think definitely right. Well, not according to this. They said it was a false belief. There was really no difference in it. This was also true of pediatric psychiatric patients. Um, so there's no association between psychosis and a full moon. And there's no association between suicide and a full moon either, according to another study. Then we look at childbirth because that's another one that you hear about a lot. They said, nope, this is not the case. Basically, they looked at over 10,000 deliveries over 18 months. They said that there was no association between childbirth and a full moon. Then we looked at emergencies. Once again, this was a four-year period within this study, and they found that there was no relationship between ED volume, ambulance runs, admissions, or admissions to monitored care during a full moon phase. There's a lot more studies going down here, but basically they're all coming to the same conclusion that there are no associations between a full moon and a change within the hospital environment. Here's all the studies that they were linked in this article here. You guys can look into them if you'd like, just for more ammunition if you're going to be talking with your coworkers about this. If you want some facts, be like, hey, there's nothing here. So now let's talk about maybe why these beliefs are here in the first place and why are they still around? So some of these stories are likely very old. They were passed around before there was any evidence to suggest that this was not the case. Um, there's also the fact that animal behavior is changed with a full moon, so it might be thought, well, if animals behave differently during a full moon, it's possible that humans do as well, since you know we're closely related by evolution and whatnot. But one example here, which is possibly the best example, is that humans will remember what happens on a full moon because it's particularly striking. So let's say that on your typical night uh, in the hospital, maybe things are chaotic, but that's just kind of the norm that doesn't really stick out to you. But then when you go in and you see that it's a full moon, you remember all the craziness more. It sticks out to you. And so you remember it, and then you associate all that craziness with that full moon. You're like, Oh my God, like we had a really hectic shift when that full moon was here. But there probably are other days when you guys are having the exact same crazy shift. Maybe you just don't realize it or you just don't think about it and it doesn't get logged into your memory. But because of the full moon and the way that it looks, it just sticks out in your memory and so you remember them. So even though you guys might think that there's a difference in full moon behavior, the evidence will not suggest it thus far. That being said, I would still love to hear your guys' crazy full moon stories in the comments. Please let me know. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos, and we will see you guys next time. Take care.